So thank you so much for coming. This is a great show. There's so many crowds. It's really good, good problem to have for any gallery. My young artist, I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am. Last Saturday at 12 Gates Arts in Philadelphia, I met 11 wonderful young artists. They are all students of the painter, Dr. Mashul Chowdhury, who is my friend and the subject of three of my films. Along with their parents and friends, these kids are part of a remarkable community of Bangladeshi Americans living in South Jersey. Their show is called The Color of Freedom. It was December of 1971, 44 years ago, and long before these artists were born, when Bangladesh gained its independence from Pakistan. Their art opening was packed and very noisy, so I asked them to scream their names for my camera. My name is Ibrahim. And I am good at doing art. I'm good at drawing plants, pots, and flowers. What's the painting with the people with the flags about? This is my country, when there was a war. Is the war over? Yep, it's over. I was never bored that time. Hi, my name is Naina. I'm the mother of Ibrahim. Uh, he's six years old and he likes to draw. My name is Tanji. This is my art. This is a picture of a little vase and a little like circle plate thing. And right here is a splatter paint I did with the straw and some paint. And right here I did this art of where my dad and mom used to live. And up there is a art piece of when the Bangladesh and the Pakistani were fighting for Bangladesh's freedom. I wasn't born in Bangladesh, but my mom and dad are from Bangladesh, basically. Have you ever been there? Yes. It's very hot. It rains a little bit. It's very humid. There's lots of mangoes. It's just really fun there. Do you speak the language? Yeah. Can you say hello to art lovers everywhere? I can say the first word. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. My name is Rihan. And do you like doing art? Yes. What do you like about it? Is that we can just build our imaginations in it. And what kind of art do you like to do? I'll go for drawing and then painting. And where are you from? Bangladesh. Were you born there? Yeah. So how long have you been in America? I, I don't know how much long. I'm an artist. I work in Philadelphia, but I have a studio in South Jersey. It's a basement. It's a really messy basement that my wife always appreciates that. <laughs> uh, so about three years ago, Sharina, she approached me with her homework, something about art. She wanted to have, have some help. Uh, and then she expressed her interest of coming to me and you know, asked me if I can teach her. So I was very honest. I told her that I never had any formal instruction and I did not go to any art school. But how can I teach you? I'll appreciate if you come and hang around with me. That would be great. So she started coming. Her friends followed her, the friends and friends, and we have 11 kids now. And there are some more waiting in the wedding list. So I don't have much space in my basement. I, should, I wish I had. My name's Sharina. Mom told me to draw at my friend's house, and there's a flower vase, so I drew a flower vase. And then I painted it with random colors. And that one is one of my friends, and then that one's one of my old stuffed animals that I have. This one I drew with random colors again. How did you come up with the Just Do It t-shirt? YouTube. Why do I like their work? Because it's about free thinking. Art should come from your heart. There's no logic you use, and the kids have that. They don't have much inhibition. So you give them a paint, and then they splash the paint, and their work of art comes out. This is a portrait one of the kids actually posed in the class. And I can tell you this that kid is nothing like this. 
this is this is a huge head and face and you can see this body is smaller red face yellow hair but you know at the end of the day you see such a nice composition such a nice texture hi my name is Anika how did you get the idea of two chipmunks in love well I love nature and I'm trying to show chipmunks portraying their love to each other, how humans should do that in their world. And there's another picture of the ducks in the lake, but I like to show the beauty of the nature. It's a really beautiful world out there. And I love my cousin so much and I drew a portrait of her. It's her great innocence in her life. It's just a cute thing. I was 10 when I came here as a first grader. All of my teachers encouraged me to do artwork. They even introduced me to arts at school special clubs and I came into Mushu Uncle's class and I love all the kids in there and their cute pictures. It's a really great thing that I'm in this class. I'm really happy this is my first exhibition. So it's a great thing, yeah. Hi, my name is Sadia. Um, I would like to introduce you to my art. What kind of art do you like to do? Um, abstracts and flower vases and stuff. Is Dr. Mashal a good art teacher? Yes. I think your art proves that. Thank you, Sadia. Hi, my name is Maharan. Since I got the idea of a Royal Bengal Tiger, I decided to do that for my art work since I didn't have any other ideas to do. He is a tiger that is supposed to be standing for our country. Oh. Have you ever been to Bangladesh? Yeah. What's it like? It's mostly a beautiful place, but also very dusty. Now that middle picture, is that a portrait of a friend? Yes. Who is it? Rowan. Thank you very much. Is your name actually Clark Kent? No. Are you Superman in real life? No. I think you are. Yes, I wish I was. Is that Superman? Um, no. My name is Rowan. In my artwork, I think it's really good, and I think I draw good. I usually like to draw using light colors, mostly. I see you like to do still lights. Yes, I do. In my house, I have this vase, and I basically copied it off of there. You did a great job. Thank you. My name is Rayon. The picture on the bottom is by my friend Parisha. Don't mind the face because I accidentally drew it over. The second picture in the middle, I think it's a three holder basket that's been hanged, and the third one on the top is a house on a sunny day with a tree. What's your favorite part about Bangladesh? They have lots and lots and lots of mangoes. Are they trees that grow in the water? They grow in land. They have mango drooping on them, like a coconut tree. How do you like this art class from Dr. Mashal? He's a nice teacher and I like how you can like draw anything you want with any kind of paint. And I think the art class is really fun. Yeah, my name is Muhammad Faizullah. I'm from, um, originally from Bangladesh, but uh, living in New Jersey. Uh, my son um, basically uh, participated in, as an artist here. I'm working as a uh, software developer here, in, uh, King of Prussia. The show is very uh, fantastic, excellent. <laughs> How did you come to know about the art teaching of Dr. Michel? He is our community friend. We know that he is a very good artist. So one day Sharina started art from him. We also started asking if Moshil Bhai can help us, our kids. Moshil Bhai agreed and keeps growing. So they painted very well and they have the freedom of course what they will draw. You're a software developer and it seems like a lot of the parents have jobs in science and engineering and yet you see a value in art. Art is a creative thing and so they will think different things. They know that they can do anything now. Thanks to Moshil Bay, of course, he made this thing possible. Femi is the youngest member of the class, 
and an extremely good artist, in my opinion. Remember when I said I asked the kids to scream out their names? Well, only one kid really seemed to understand what I meant. She is Femi's older sister. Vivian, this is a wonderful thing when you get a red dot. Artists live for that. I like art. I'm eight years old. I'm in second grade. Is that your teddy bear? He, no, it's my little sister's Femi. She's a nice sister. Yes. Your family is from Bangladesh, correct? Yes. Have you ever been there? Yes, when I was a little kid. Do you remember it? No. Oh. Do you know what the national animal of Bangladesh is? The Bengal tiger. Are you scared of him? Kinda. <laughs> My name is Deepa Kwadir Alam, and I'm the parent of Vivian and Femi Alam. Getting them to do art was very tough in the beginning. No, we don't really want to do it. Trying to encourage them to just keep trying, but we can't think of anything. Now, with this show, I think it's just really beefed up their imagination. They're so excited. They're like, oh my gosh, we're doing a show? Now they popping out stuff all the time. Mom, look what we did, look what we did. It's just blossomed their imagination like I hoped it would do. They were both born here. First we started at a community Sunday school where they learn Arabic and Bengali. That's where most of these kids met each other. Through that they met Dr. Mushil. So they spend time doing Sunday school and then one day a month they do art together also. So it's kind of nice that they all at different ages end up hanging out with each other, learning from each other and getting confidence from each other. I think that's great. And do you know Dr. Mushil very well? Or? I wanted them to be in an art program, but I couldn't find one. Mehreen's father told me about Dr. Mushil, how he teaches them in his basement. I just introduced myself and said, can I come? <laughs> and then after that, it kept going and going, and here we are. I've known him through his own art, and he is one of the most extraordinary people I've ever met. Yeah. Incredibly nice guy. Very generous. He's very generous to let us come, because we, we didn't even know each other at all. Bangladeshi roots, is that a very very important thing to you parents. I came to this country when I was five years old. My brother was uh, four. So we have been back and forth. We know the language because of my mom. She didn't know it when we were younger English too much. So we know how to speak it. So we have some roots, but we still never felt 100% Bengali, and we never had Bengali friends growing up. So I wanted them to meet some people of our culture here. So that's why I went to the Sunday school, so they could meet some Bengali kids and hang out. And yeah, it's important to have that connection because you never feel 100% American or 100% Bengali or whatever culture you come from when you're from a different country. Deepa. Though I was born here and have only lived in America, I have such respect and gratitude towards your community. You came here bringing your talents, your wisdom, your kindness, and your children. Mashul sent me a poem that he cherishes and often reads to the kids. It's by the Bengali Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. I am getting older now and sometimes have fears for the future of our country, but knowing that your remarkable children are the Americans of the 21st century fills me with hope that we shall enter that heaven of freedom someday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They show me every day that 
in a how they are should be actually. They are my teacher and I learn from them. This is my secret. So, <laughs> okay.